But I suppose we should move this conversation on to something that has uh, broken over the weekend, of course, these party gate fines, and particularly Helen McNamara, someone who was the second most senior civil servant across government, uh, being fined, according to The Telegraph, uh, in a personal capacity. I just wonder, reading these stories of the people that we know have been fined, many of them aren't political appointments. Many of them are supposedly independent civil servants. Has, in, has this row, in your view, Simon Hart, focused too much on politicians and not enough on the culture of our civil service? Well, I, I, I don't know the ins and outs of that, and I'm not, you know, I'm not part of the police investigation or the uh, Sue Gray uh, investigation in, in all of this. All I do know is that, uh, whether it's senior civil servants or senior politicians, when we look back at any week in our lives, and particularly those uh, frenetic uh, weeks in the early part of the pandemic, there are many things. There are many things and many decisions and judgments that we probably all made at the time that on reflect some of which are you know invisible some of which like this are very high profile and command great public interest there are many things we decisions we wish we'd taken differently and in this particular instance that there has been as we promised the wood an investigation which has led to uh, uh, well, in the process of leading to a sort of final conclusion and there are people who are being uh, fined on the fixed penalty notice system and uh, you know, we will, in the fullness of time, learn more all about this. I, I you know, I don't think anybody is uh, is uh, looks back with with pride at some of those uh, moments around parties. Um, but uh, the process is the process, and I don't want to prejudge what its final findings might be. Well, I suppose we might have some time to wait for those findings. But for now, Simon Hart, Secretary of State for Wales, of course, thank you very much for joining us here on the briefing this morning.